Hey, I'm Joel from All Safe Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate a multi ray gas meter. First things first, let's make sure you have all the essentials. Of course, you'll need your multi ray. I have a standard config multi ray light here, but the calibration procedure will be the same across the multi ray family. You also need calibration gas. Since we are calibrating a standard multi ray light, we have a cylinder of four gas mix and some 100 ppm isobutylene for the PID. Be sure to check the regulator gauge and gas expiration date. If your gas is empty or has expired, do not use it. Lastly, you'll need a regulator and tubing. Use either a demand flow regulator or a preset flow with a flow rate of 0.5 liters per minute to one liter per minute. We'll be using preset flow regulators here with a calibration adapter to avoid flooding the sensors. Once the multi-ray is on and the warm-up sequence is complete, check to make sure the time and date are correct so the meter displays the right calibration date. Also, check that the pump is working properly by putting a finger over the inlet. If the pump stalls and the meter goes into alarm, the pump is working properly. Press Y to restart the pump and clear the alarm. If the pump isn't working properly, service it before attempting a calibration. To get into the calibration menu, press and hold the mode and no buttons. Then enter your password. We'll use the default here, which is all zeros. In the menus, select the first option to enter the calibration menu. From there, select fresh air calibration if you're in a clean atmosphere. If you aren't sure you're in fresh air, you can go outside or use a cylinder of 20.9% oxygen. The air here is good, so I'll press the Y to start the fresh air cal. After a 60 second countdown, you either get a pass or a fail. Next, to calibrate multiple sensors, select multi-sensor span and press the Y button. Hook up your cal adapter, turn on the gas, and press Y to start calibrating. The meter will begin to count down. At the end, it will show whether each sensor has passed or failed calibration. If your meter passes, continue to calibrate the rest of the sensors individually. After a multi-cal, the meter will prompt you to conduct a single sensor spin. Press the Y button. Connect the meter to the gas. In this case, we're using isobutylene. Turn on the regulator and hit Y. Like before, the meter will count down and display either pass or fail. If all your sensors pass calibration, you're good to go. You can exit the menus by pressing the mode button until back at the main screen. Confirm that a check mark is at the top of the display screen. If your meter doesn't pass, you may have a bad sensor or other problem. Do not use the meter until you've corrected the issue and have calibrated the meter successfully. If you need tech support or have questions about any part of this process, give us a call and we'll be glad to help you out. And check the description below for links to any of the products we show here in the video. And as always, visit our website, www.allsafeindustries.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to this YouTube channel.